Hello everybody once again, this is Akawa Kazoo. Welcome back to another PvP Community League Season 1, Week 1. This will be Greenwood. And this is Electric up against Power Kitty. So from Electric here, we have Baumang the Guardian, the Captain, Morsalize, Destroyer, Arcani, the Smasher, Miss Awesome, a Windwalker, and finally G Fritz 07 and Adapt going up against Power Kitty is Ryoli Chan, Gear Master, Captain, Lonely Chan, a Barbarian, Hacky, Crusader, Guild Leader of I think Bloodline and IQU, Illustra and finally X3 Arrows, the Artillery and right now we're going to go to the match right away, hope you guys enjoy it and we'll see you in the match So right now they are selecting their lineups We have Power Kitties going up against Electric here Mortalize the Barbarian, no Lonely Gen the Barbarian is going up against Mortalize the Destroyer right away Dun 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 dun. The punching swing dodge there, the tumble is baited. They bait their both the humble here. Dash blow, nice counting how that, but the crisis how timing here. The nice circle swing that they cancel. The ring bombs. Crisis how no longer there for Millstrom how as Lonely Gen in trouble right now with the whirlwind. We see the, the buffs going up. Lonely Gen buffs out as well. And skin there. Double storms here. Nice bone crash to give the debuff on more slice right now, but rolling attack off target as the empowering how is up as well. As you can see, Lonely Gen does not have his empowering how. His cyclone X is used first with the bone crush debuff on it. You can see the extra damage down there, but the bone crush debuff is already over. Gets caught by a wake attack here into his own cyclone X here from Mortalize. He's in trouble right now. 17% HP, 14%, 10% HP right now. And the rolling attack from Mortalize takes Lonely Gen away as the destroyer triumphs over the barbarian. For now, in game one here, so we're gonna wonder who is Power Kitty is gonna be setting up next. As right now, I'm not too sure. I think we're gonna send a Guardian. Nope, they send X3 arrows, the artillery here. As once again, Hacky is a Crusader, so there's no Guardian from Power Kitties. But the tracking arrows, the first tracking arrows is out for Mortalize. Uses flying swing, the flying swing cancelled. Reduces the damage by 70% here, gets caught by an anchor shot nicely, that's the follow up we're talking about here. The detonating arrow not finding the target, no that's the scope arrow EX, avoids the Maelstrom how there with a nice triangle shot, I free once again, urgency trick used to go into fake shot, gets caught by a ring bombs here, air region baited, as well as the rolling attack here, where attack timing here from X3 arrows is good, tracking arrows to the face is taken away immediately, well done by X3 arrows here, the artillery, but will he be able to take away another player? As electric have a adapt instead of a gear master, so they don't have any counter class against the artillery at the moment here. The best possible situation would be Baobang the Guardian or the Windwalker here, but the Windwalker will need to be extremely fast against the artillery. They send Miss Awesome, the Windwalker, and needs to do some very good iframes in consecutive session here to avoid the tracking arrows. You can see the Sylph's 8 buff going up. Goes in very quickly here. Spiral Kick EX, oh we get hit by the tracking arrows to the face, it's down to 41% HP already. Irrigation baited here, triangle shots countered, countering the circle shot there. As a Spiral Vortex there, not finding a target. Gets caught by the Rising Storm here, he's down to 11% HP for extra arrows, he fake shots away. Tracking arrows cancelled by a nice Eagle Dive, the circle shot here, 0% HP. As Miss Olsen, the Windwalker takes extra arrows, the artillery away. Beautiful Rising Storm there from Miss Olsen, definitely. As the spirit is roaming around the spectator stands at the moment. As we be, we'll be wondering right now, who will they be sending up next? I think it's going to be... They send IQU, the Elastra here. Pretty good choice definitely because Frostwing can slow the movement speed of the Midwalker here. Iframes will not be as accurate with the slowing speed. Nice reading swords there, can you see the ma magnificent dragging skills from IQU. As Miss Olsen is taken away within the first 10 seconds of the round. That's extremely quick by IQ here. Who was pretty known ladder player, ladder PvP player in 32 and 40 cap. But right now it's KOF 50 cap. And we'll see what he can do from now on as we await the next member from Electric. We see Arcane, the Smasher going up against IQ right now. It's the laser cutter motion that here that we are looking out for. Can he land a much needed time stop here? Will it be a time dodge in the time stop here? We will find out very soon. He's to buy time for the time stop. He's not using his time dodge right from the start here. Nice dinner rate EX to the face. Time dodge here, but he got caught by a glacier wave. He's down to 42% HP. 
Get that firewall into Fling Spark continuation of combos here. Fling Swords as well. He's down to 25% HP as Arcane backs out. The fireball through the frost. The the the, the frost mirror takes Arcane away as I kill you. Finish off finishing off his opponent extremely fast in this round or so. I think it's around 30 seconds into the round. And Arcane was taken away extremely fast. So Electric finding no momentum right now. As they are down to the second last two members. We have G Fritz 07, the Adept coming up right now. I'm gonna see what this Adept can do. Can you do a baby Kreeza? We're gonna find out very soon as well. Gets caught by the Freezing Swords here. Defensive Wax used. Magma Wave is avoided nicely by IQU, definitely. Look at that, Max Infection there, nicely used. Magma Wall used very well as well. We don't see the Poison Break coming. Ice Beam to the face of IQ, he's frozen right now. Nicely done by Gfritz 07 at the moment. Gets caught by the Frostwind. But it's getting burned by the Slime at the moment. Gets caught by the Ice Spear. It's gonna be troublesome for Gfritz 07 right now. It's getting burned by the Flame Road. Down to 25% HP. As IQU brings the game from the back. And the Ignite from IQU takes Gfritz 07 away. I think he should have used Poison Break there. I'm not too sure if he, if he has Poison Break. And in this Adept build, as Poison Break is down to the Physician Tree by IQU. Had only about 9% HP left. Right now he has about 19% HP. Close to 20% right now. As the Guardian is out for IQU. Just one Electric Smite and Justice Crash will take IQU away. He needs to land and much needed Justice Crash and Electric Smite here to have the dream for Electric leaving. He uses his Aeration early. I don't think Justice Crash is up yet. He should have saved it for the Justice Crash cooldown. Nice Glacier Wave on the Lightning Zap counter here into Phoenix Storm as IQU does extremely well, avoids the Justice Crash here. As Balmung's block is cancelled here, he's in trouble right now. See the Frost Wind, oh not into a normal attack here, but I can see the Ice Sphere once again frozen on the stance of Faith. It's caught at the moment, but there's no chilling miss, he decides to go for the Flame Road instead, IQU. He's frozen again by a Lucky from the Ice Cage there. But the Electric Smite takes IQU away. Nicely done by Baomong there, but he's down to 25% HP, he took too much damage there. No, it's 35% HP, my bad, but he was down to 25% and he regains back 10% HP. As right now, we see the Crusader going up against Baomong here. Are we going to see some Holy Relic EX here? Nicely used, gets a lucky block from the start. See Hacky's Holy Bolt was faster here, nicely done by him. Electric Smite counter on the Lightning Zap, he gets caught by the Justice Crash into Electric Smite here. As Baumang closes the game, 51% HP right now, the block from Hacky is used. Judge Hammer then not finding a target. As Baumang heals back up to about 10% HP. He needs to wait for the Divine Vata here, as he uses just Guardian Force right now. Gets caught by Shield Charge, Air Region baited. But the catch from Hecky there was not good. Gets caught by a Holy Bolt instead as he's down to 25% HP himself. The Divine Vata for Hecky is used as Baumang reciprocates as well. As right now, they are in the standoff. The usual Paladin Divine Vata standoff right now. As they're just standing there, you can see Hecky getting his Commission Aura buff out right now. Iron View from Baumang here as Divine Vata will be gone very soon. You see a double Electric Smite here. He gets caught by the Lightning Zap. Well, he avoids it with a nice Shin Breaker iframe. Nice Holy Bolt there. In the Justice Crash, but a block buff is still up here. A pity for Baomang at the moment. Hacky's very own Holy Bolt there, catching. Use a Stance of Faith in defense right now. 45% HP right now. The Aura Restoration for Baomang is used. He's gonna be getting a heal very soon. He heals back up to 10% HP. Nice catching of Hacky once again. Gets caught by Electric Smite, no he dodges the Electric Smite here, Hecky as well. We see the all restoration for Hecky as well. 16% HP for Baomang and the moment gets caught by the Lightning Zap, unfortunate for him. Justice Crash, no, he knows he has a Lightning buff there, he's not going to use Justice Crash in a risky situation. As Hecky heals backs up to 31% HP. 7% HP for Baomang at the moment. See a block battle at the moment. 
Divine Vata from Hecky, but Baumang will follow suit as well. As this match is down to 28 seconds here. As Hecky, 27% HP, having HP lead right now. Is he gonna win by more HP or will Baumang do the needed damage here? As the Divine Vata will be gone very, very soon. Forces a sliding step on Hecky right now. As Baumang heals back up, 27% HP for Hecky. His lightning zap catches Hecky here. He goes in with a nice shield charge. The electric smite is used for iframe. And Baumang's own electric smite takes Hecky away. He's in a two winning streak here. As Hecky decides to use his Nescu Herogy, that was a mistake. As he was in a dire, dying 10 seconds of the battle here. He had more HP, but he got caught by the electric smite there that took him away as well. So right now, Bao Meng has forced Team Power Kiddies to their last member, Ryoli Chan, which is the captain. So it's a captain face off match right now, but Ryoli Chan in a very good position to take Bao Meng away. See, even the triple shots hitting on the start, you know he can't be confident because Bao Meng is down to about 25% HP right now. The flash grenade is forced as well as Bao Meng backs out right now. You can see that Ryoli Chan playing extremely aggressive here. Gets caught by the Shinbreaker. And the area vision there gets caught by Electric Smite and Justice Crash in succession now. He's down to 25% HP himself as Baumang 21% HP. In a very good position to take Ryoli Chan away. But Ryoli Chan rolling on a platform now like a little girl, rolling away from danger. Nice gravity grenade there as well as a biochemical missile. It cancels the block here, though the block is on. He has stunts of faith instead. He gets silenced here, he walks away. As right now he has 5% HP left for Baumang. He said the Divine Vata going up. Last resort for Baumang at the moment. If he doesn't complete this within the Divine Vata, he'll be in trouble. But you can see Ryoli Chan down to 15% HP. Extremely crucial here for Baumang. He shoot charges in. Stacks the Guardian Force on the Divine Vata here. We see the lightnings have averted with the nice rocket jump here. As oh my goodness, he got caught by Electric Smart into Justice Crash as Baumang takes this from the back for his team. Nicely done, definitely. Extremely good round for Baumang here for his team. From Electric, definitely Baumang. Three consecutive wins as they win the first game against Bloodline, which is actually Power Kitties. But right now, Hecky is the first player going up against Mortalize, the Destroyer. As you'll see if Hecky can redeem himself in his match against Baumang previously. Nice Crisis Howl from Mortalize himself. Look at that, Hecky casting the Lightning Z and he'll counter with a nice Ring Bomb from Mortalize himself. As you can see, the Maelstrom Howl combo, the Whirlwind and the Rolling Attack combination coming out once again. But Mortalize backs out after doing a nice combo. He gets out the buff himself. Gets his Iron Skin up at the moment. Cancels the... No, he doesn't cancel the Q. But he flinches there nicely with his Punishing Swing. As the Area Vision is baited here. No Area Vision in Justice Crash as Hecky is a Crusader. As you can see, Hecky down to about 30% HP at the moment. Baits the Area Vision here for Mortalize as he backs out. He's gonna get the Empowering Howl up now before he goes for his Cyclone X, waiting for the Divine Vata to be up. But usually, what Crusaders or Guardians will do is to use Divine Vata the moment Cyclone X is supposedly cast. But Hecky has already used it so right now. He's down, he's minus one in terms of advantage here. Gets caught by the Taunting Howl, avoids the Circle Swing nicely. Gets caught by the Ring Bombs here. Like, as Mortalize does extremely well here. Gonna see the Cyclone X very soon. Attempts to bait the Elias uses the middle storm how to catch Hecky after the sliding step. Nicely done by Mortalize, not even using the Cyclone X here as it takes away the first player from Power Kiddies at the moment. So Electric in a very good position to take away the game right now. So we wait for the next member. We see. It's a Barbarian going up against a Destroyer mirror matchup at the moment. Half mirror matchup, I guess, you can call it. As Lonely Jan tumbles, avoids the Punishing Swing. It seems to be... It seems to be the same rounds they have been playing previously. Nice Crisis house there, succession from both players. Nice Punishing Swing flinch, but the rolling attack is short for Mortalize. Unfortunate, definitely. So the whirlwind on the Maelstrom Howl here, based the air vision and Mortalize's own whirlwind is out. He's setting him up himself up for a two win streak at the moment. As around the buffs are going up. See the storm here on Lonely Gen on the Barbarians get caught 
with the Taunting Howl into Slacklenex. He's still stuck after the area vision. He's in trouble right now. As Mortala is going for his seemingly second win streak at the moment. As you can see, Lonely Gen's own Slacklenex is out, but you don't have the Bone Crash up. But you can see the Barbarian has the passive skill that they have a chance to do high damage here. Gets caught for the Maelstrom Howl from Mortala as he's in a two winning streak here. It looks like Electric is in for a 2-0 game win over Power Kitties at the moment. But who's going to stop them? Who's going to be the next member to stop Mortalize Streak right now? He's down to about 30% HP. Not too high, not too low. If he plays his cards right, he can grab away another here. But really Chan, the Gear Master, is out right now. Ping Pong to the face from the start. No flinching there, unfortunately. Rocket Jump is baited here. Nice Mecha Dunk iframe once again from Ryori Chan here. As he caught Small Slice here into Gravity Grenade, doing extremely well here. The Bubble Bubble long range, he finds the target, forces the relief, but he uses, uses his air shot to flinch him upon the relief. Nicely done by Ryori Chan, the Gear Master definitely. She only took about 2% damage here. As right now it's 3 to 4 at the moment, as we're waiting for Electric to send the next member up. And we have Baomang, the hero previously in game 1 here, going up against Ryori Chan here. Will Ryori Chan allow him to win him again? We'll find out very soon. As the 15 seconds, a 10 second mark has been over there. As the academic, we have the chance to set up the little fortress, the defense here. The bubble bubble that is avoided there, the nice stream breaker here. He gets caught by the ice pump tower, as you can see, he's slowed down. He's in trouble right now, the block is forced. As more ice pump tower is raining on him. Nice gravity grenade as well from Ryori Chan. He's down to 57% HP. We see the biochemical missile. Doesn't find the target. As he's chasing and closing down on Bama, he's trying to close him in. He draws him into the Alfredo and Mecha Duck here. The Divine Vata is forced. As you can see, the Alfredo transitional damage is used. Lightning Zap is catching him on. Justice Crash as well. But his rocket jumps away. Mecha Duck iframe is avoided. I said he avoids the electric smite there, even though his Mechadark iframe was baited there. Nice holy bolt there to catch, but he runs into a stream of chainsaw towers. Alfredo is gonna get stunned here. He's trapped. Three ducks chasing towards him, he's gonna get silence. He gets Mecha shocked here. He has the Mecha shock debuff on him and the silence as he tries to back top now. We see the block going up as well, but the gravity grenade gets out with a nice stream breaker here. Baomang is getting trapped, he's getting cornered. We see the big backup bomber as well. Nice ping pong. Oh, he avoids it barely, but you can see the biochemical missile used defensively here. As Baumang gets a lucky block off the biochemical missile. Nice lightning zap once again, but gets caught in the gravity grenade here. The chainsaw tower is doing huge damage here. He's down, gets knocked down. As Ryori Chan in a two winning streak brings back the game from Mortalized's own two winning streak right now. It's, it's level play right now, 3 3 for both teams. As this game can go either way, as both teams, both their players. Extremely skillful here. They seem to be of the same skill level. As we see G Fritz 07 and Adept going up against the Gear Master right now. Once again, the 10 to 15 seconds mark is extremely important. It avoids the first ping pong as Violi Chan forces the rocket jump here on the Magma Punch iframe. But we see the Chainsaw Tower up already. Magma Wave is used, not too sure we found the target here. We can see he gets hit by the Ice Pump Tower here, he's down to 55% HP. He's slowed down to a halt right now. As he casts his slime, that's a long casting animation skill. As he's getting caught, another 2.6k from the cannon there, the cannon tower. Goes in with a magma punch iron once again. Nice flash grenade there, as you can see Alfredo, hypnosis prevents him from dying. But ice beam from G Fritz 07 takes Ryori Chan away, unexpectedly, definitely. Definitely, he has only 15% HP left, that means 5% HP before he died. Extremely close for Ryori Chan. Very close to a 3 winning streak here, but a Drift is there, a well aimed Ice Beam takes him away. As right now it's 2 to 3. As Power Kitties set up their last two members, I kill you here, the Elestra. I frame of Magma Punch used very well to avoid the Flame Spark there, but got caught by a Freezing Swords here. Get killed by a freezing wall before his magma wave can be used. Unfortunately for Gfritz, he has too little HP left. He's back to 2 2 right now. I believe we're gonna see Miss Awesome, the Windwalker here. That should be going out. He 
Indeed, the Green Walker, Miss Awesome, is coming up right now. He needs to do the much needed Spiral Kick into Spiral Vortex. Maybe Rising Storm here if he does not get slowed from the casting animation. Avoids the Freezing Sword from the start here. That's definitely good news from Miss Awesome. Get hit by a Fireball though, 10,000 damage. Well aimed Fireball by IQU, definitely. As he reactively blinks in, get hit caught by a firewall here. So Mystic by Miss Awesome right now. Gets caught by a Glacier Wave into Phoenix Storm here. He's in trouble right now. 10% HP as he backs away. Going to use the Spirit Boost. The Spirit Boost is indeed used. And the Showtime as well. He runs into the Ice Spear. Goes for his Rising Storm. But the Super Armor of Ice G1 skin doing the job for preventing him from getting flinched. As he goes back into a Spider Vortex here. Does huge damage. He's down to 0% HP as he got burned to death. IQU has 65% HP. Probably lower. But a 10% HP increase after winning a match helps helps the HP loss. As IQU in the 2 winning streak here, the last man will be Arcane, the Smasher. Will the Smasher's laser cutter be good enough? Or will Power KT take back one game? We'll find out very soon. The last remainder, last remaining member, Arcane. She casts her Arcane buff. Gets caught by a Freezing Sword there. That's just the tip of the iceberg there of the of the sword. 700 damage though. Nice time stop into laser cutter here as IQU is in trouble. Get pushed back as IQU is taken away by Arcane here. Nicely done by Arcane. Then definitely takes away IQU extremely fast. But right now Arcane is in trouble here because the last member for Team Power Kitty is, is artillery. It is X3 arrows here. As tracking arrows is a pain in the ass. Definitely for a Smasher. He needs to get a shield up, survive until his Force Mirror is up, or he's going to do the early damage. I would say the later or the latter is less risky. Look at that, the Gravity Spark there hitting the target at the start. But it's going to prevent the Shaking Arrows that's being cast right now. It's being cast. He teleports. No, he teleports away. Avoids the Anchor Shot here. You see a comment for cast and defense, but you can see the Fake Shot there. Nicely used by X3 Arrows. It's another 5 seconds. The Shaking Arrows will be out very soon. His teleport will cancel, crucial there. Time stop. Oh, he has a nice time stop. He needs to find his ground here. As X3 arrows use his reactive bling. The Night Hills laser avoided. We can see the next tracking arrows coming out very soon. The linear ray off target. The tracking arrows is up. The force mirror is up, but I think it's too late. He hits the force mirror and himself. He gets caught by an anchor shot. No, he doesn't. As you see, scope, scope arrow EX on a, on a shoe. He needs to go in. He's gonna be taken away. He can't wait anymore. The next tracking arrows will be up. Another 5 seconds here. 5. 4, 3, 2, 1, Tracking Arrows is out! I'm not even counting the 16 seconds there. It was by my own feeling of the timing for Tracking Arrows, definitely. As right now, it's 1 to 1, 1 to Electric and 1 to Power KDs at the moment. As we go into Game 3, one of the few rare games in KOF CLS1 that has Game 3. So do enjoy this third game, definitely, as we see Arcane going up once again. Lonely Gen, Tumbles baited. Nice circle swing on Arcane here. Avoids the storm. Avoids the ring bombs as well. Arcane is doing well, but he's the first member right now. He can be countered with extra arrows right from this. That's right now. The time stop there on the demolition phase. Nice to see you once again. Is there a Night Laser pushing him back into a Comet 4? Oh my goodness, the Comet 4 was not required. As Lonely Gen was taken away, you can see the Comet 4 casting animation still in the air. The laser cutter there, the damage is too high. As Lonely Gen was taken away in a time stop combo. So, who is the next member that Power Kitty is going to send? It's going to be very interesting here. Who can stand a good chance against the time stop laser cutter combo? We see Hacky, the Crusader here. Will he be good enough? So, the Arcane buff on, on Arcane at the moment. Hacky playing it safe, trying to buy time for the Divine Vassal, definitely. No, he goes in with a shield charge here. But more time span, it means Arcane is going to have his time stop up here. Gets caught by the Night Hills laser. We're going to see the block buff coming up very soon. Random armor break from Hacky here, as we see the Lunar Ray EX as well. As his cat and mouse for both players at the moment. Shusha just in a black hole here, opportunity time. Nice white blast into the normal attack, no, it doesn't work. Nice time stop there, into laser cutter once again. Into glacial spike, he's frozen, it's gonna take huge damage here. Into the comet force, he's still frozen, down to 5% HP. The Divine Vata needs to be up right now. Divine Vata is indeed up. As you see, the beyond time for Arcane, she's gonna bring around and have some fun here, teleport. 
as those cooldowns will be extremely fast here. No, she's not spending her mana. Wise decision by Arcani, Arcani definitely to save her mana. She's hoping that she can take down more members here. Teleports away from the shield charge. Nicely used once again. Avoids the Holy Relic EX as well. As you can see, a black hole being cast to prevent Hecky, and Hecky is taken away by the black hole. Two winning streak for Arcani at the moment. Nicely done, definitely. Are they going to send X3 arrows to artillery right now to stop Arcani's run? Because artillery is definitely a counter class for the Smasher. We see the Gear Master instead, so we're gonna let Rioni Chan, who has been doing pretty well in the first two games, to come out against Arcani. The Fortress is already set up here. We see the Chainsaw Tower. One of it has already hit Arcani here. Nice war blast to a normal attack here as right now the poison spray is on Rioli Chan but you can see Arcani getting caught by the ice pump tower here. Goes another time stop here into the laser cutter. You explode in the wall here. It's gonna take Rioli Chan away. Indeed the explosion from the laser cutter takes Rioli Chan away. Nice placement of the laser cutter here. She waits for the ice pump tower and finds a safe time to cast the time stop. In the end the laser cutter took Rioli Chan away once again. It's a 3 winning streak from Arcani as she's dancing right now. But in no offense, definitely, it's also gesture in queue or form mode when you're spamming your skills. As we see X3 arrows finally being sent out to counter Arcani right now. You can see the HP, 56% HP, extremely extremely low, one tracking arrows and charge shot combination will probably take him away, but he avoids the blue the blue side buff at least. As we can see the first the force mirror is actually up already. But you can see he's not using the tracking arrows. You can see X3 arrows just waiting for the force mirror to disappear wisely, especially. You can see Arcani still playing back here. Doesn't, he doesn't bait the first tracking arrow. He avoids the first triangle shot, but the tracking arrow is going to be out right now. He's in trouble. He gets the comment for the hit. He tried to blink close. Gets caught by an anger shot. It's over, definitely. As you see, the scope arrow. No, it's the detonating arrow here. It's going to explode on him. No, he died to the rapid shot here from X3 arrows. As X3 arrows shows the power of tracking arrows. It's tracking arrows versus laser cutter at the moment. And tracking arrows has taken laser cutter away once again. But you can see the electric in a very good position. Four members left versus two on power kitties. You see Miss Awesome, the Windwalker out right now. We're gonna see some eye frame usage to dodge tracking arrows. Miss Awesome decides to wait for Spirit Boost, I believe. He's waiting for the tracking arrows. You can see extra arrows actually pushing close. And extremely accurate as well. The first tracking arrows is out. Spiral kicks in into a kick shot here. Circle shot, no, the iframe is bad here. As he's down to 40% HP. 60% HP gone from the checking arrows and the continuation and follow-up skills from extra arrows right now. The showtime is used. As the rising storm used defensively, not quite finding target. The checking arrows is out to his face. He's taken away two winning streaks from extra arrow right now. As the artillery in his own winning streak right now, as Arcani was stopped previously. They'll probably send a guardian out right now. I'm not too sure. Maybe they'll adapt, but adapt won't be a wise choice. They send destroyer. This is a pretty decent choice as a destroyer can rush to the artillery extremely fast. He decides not to rush to the artillery extremely fast. Baits the tumble there, but decides to play back. The first tracking arrows is out. As he tries to use the statue here. He runs close, gets caught by the anchor shot. This is a follow-up there. Getting cancelled by the stunning shot as well. Oh, the detonating the arrow finds the target. Even a relief is used, but it's too late. He gets exploded in the tracking arrows here. He's down to 5%, 2% HP is taken away. X3 arrows in a 3 winning streak right now, as Mortalize couldn't even buff up his iron skin before he was taken away. Unfortunate for Mortalize, definitely. As he waited at the start, that's a mistake. That's right now, it's between Baumang and the Zap here. I think it's um, G, G Fritz 07. And yes, the Guardian goes up, the Goalkeeper for ele Electric, definitely. There's extra arrows once again. The first string arrows is out, he's trying to use the statue to block some of the arrows here. Block at least two arrows there according to my screen. But he gets caught in the angle shot once again, that's the follow up. So the Scope EX coming out as well, no, it's the detonating arrow, you can see the counter. As he explodes there to force the block counter to be gone. The next tracking arrows is out very soon. Stance of Faith is used wisely once again. But once again, a follow up. The anchor shot here keeps him into the ground here. 
as the Divine Avatar needs to come out very soon. Electric Smite cancelled, I believe. The next tracking arrows, 3 seconds. Oh no, I've got my feeling wrong this time, but I can see the Divine Avatar out right now as Bamong attempts to chase back the HP loss. Forces the area vision there, but the lightning zap avoided with a nice tumble from X3 arrows. As you can see, X3 arrows doesn't flinch onto, onto the Holy Relic, it doesn't bait the tumble here. Nicely done by X3 arrows, definitely. Avoids the Justice Crash there with a beautiful swift shot iframe. As right now, the Divine Vata is already over. The next tracking arrows is going to be out. No block for Bamang this time. It's going to get taken away. Indeed, it is. Four winning strings for X3 arrow right now. My goodness. It seems like he's going to take this away as the last members and Adept. In a very disadvantageous position, it's gonna be tough for the adept to take extra arrows away. It's gonna take everything he got. As I don't think there's many iframe skills for the adepts aside from magma punch, as far as I know. G Fritz 07 is gonna have a tough time here. He waits. He can't wait. If he waits, the tracking arrows is gonna come out. Gets caught by the first twin shot here, and the magma punch iframe is already used. He's in trouble right now. The tracking arrows is out. He jumps. Magma Wave catching extra arrows there. Will it be a comeback here? So the Ice Pump used. But the next tracking arrows is going to be out in about 5 seconds once again. He gets, he gets caught by the Death an Arrow here. He's down to the ground. That's very bad for him. The next tracking arrows is going to be out. Here comes the tracking arrows. Oh, it's get cancelled by the Ice Pump here. No, the tracking arrows went onto the slime. Nicely done by G7. G3 is definitely. Is he gonna wait for the Ice expression here? Oh, look at that. A crit on the Magma Wave there. 13,000 damage here. He forces the Hypnosis. He's got caught into the ankle shot here. He's in trouble right now. The next Tracking Arrows will come to his face, but you can see the slime still there. He hits the slime instead. He avoids the Scope Arrow EX. Seems like the Adept is holding his own right now. Where's the Ice expression here? He goes in the Ice expression here. But X3 Arrows got out there. And his own ultimate is being used. The Sims Knight's gonna explode, it catches G3 is there, and the next tracking arrows hits the slime here. But X3 arrows there, takes him away. What killed him? I have no idea. But this game went to Power Kitties in the end. So, we guys enjoyed this game between Power Kitties and Electric here. Watch this latter series, episode 9, if you haven't there in, in the window right now, you can see and show her your support. So, there'll be about two more videos that I have not uploaded. These videos are actually from the first day of my recordings. That's why they have the little, little. They have the extra little edit there, the rest is actually straight up for my live stream. So remember to show us your support by subscribing to TE Gaming. Once again, thanks for watching, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time.